Hello and welcome to another video. I hope that you're all very well. Uh, before I start, just want to say Happy New Year to all our subscribers and our viewers. Now, with the start of the new year, many of you, I'm sure, have set yourself goals, such as getting a driving license. Whether whether you're going to take your first ever driving lesson this year or whether you've taken a couple of tests previously once you've decided that you want to learn to drive you have a small dilemma and that is the choice between learning an automatic car and learning a manual car which one do you choose what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages I've got a list of questions here that may be running through your head <clears throat> and I'm going to try my very best to answer these questions so that you can decide for yourself whether it's worth learning an automatic car or whether it's worth learning a manual car. So <clears throat> the first question I've got is, is driving on an automatic car easier? And if it is easier, then why is the pass rate lower? Now, many people, your friends, relatives, even driving instructors, many driving instructors would say, yes, an automatic is far easier. Your friends will probably say, yes, it's far easier. Is it really easier? Well, in my opinion, an automatic, learning the basic skills in an automatic car is easier. It's far easier than learning the basic manual skills of a car. And I must emphasize the word basic. By basic, I mean just controlling the vehicle. Now, Controlling a vehicle is basically only 20% of the skill that you need to pass the driving test and to drive safely. So learning the basics of an automatic car, even though it's easier, that's only 20% of the learning. The other 80%, it's all in here. It's not what you do. It's not what you do physically, it's what you think in your head. It's a thinking process. And that thinking process is the same regardless of whether you're learning a manual car or an automatic car. That thinking process is the planning ahead, the reading the road signs, reading the road markings, anticipation of what other road users may do, anticipating pedestrians, cyclists and other drivers. So, now that we know that learning to drive an automatic is slightly easier, even though it's much easier to learn the basics, it's only easier for that 20%. The other 80% is exactly the same. So if it's slightly easier, why is the pass rate for an automatic car lower, much lower than a manual car? Well, as I said earlier, if you ask people, is it easier to drive an automatic or a manual car? The majority of them will say automatic. And because of this reason, because of, the re because of this main reason, people taking automatic lessons, they tend to take fewer lessons because they believe it's easier. They don't think that they require all those lessons. And then on top, you get people who've failed a test in a manual car. Failed, let's say, on something like position in a roundabout. 
Now, the positioning in a roundabout will be the same, regardless of whether you're in an automatic or a manual car. However, the learner driver who's failed may think, you know what, I'll take lessons in an automatic car. It'll be easier. Now, had that same person taken another test in a manual car, they would probably end up taking 12 to 15 hours. Whereas, just because they've made the decision to take lessons in an automatic car, they end up taking two or three. And that is the main reason that the pass rate for an automatic is lower. Whether you're taking lessons in an automatic car or a manual car, just remember, it's the skills, it's the anticipation, it's the planning. You should be able to drive. You're only ready for your test if you can drive by yourself without much feedback from your driving instructor. The other question I've got is, if I pass in a manual, do I get two driving licenses? The simple answer to that question is yes. If you learn to drive a manual car and you pass your driving test in a manual car, your license will entitle you to drive both manual and automatic cars. However, if you pass your driving test in an automatic car, you will be restricted to driving only automatic cars. Having said that, there has always, there has always been the option to upgrade. So you can take a test in an automatic car, pass it, and then six months later, or even six years later, decide to take another driving test in a manual car. And if you pass that second driving test, your license will be upgraded from an automatic to a manual license. What happens if that person failed their manual test? Well, the good news is that it does not affect the automatic entitlement. So if you've got an automatic license and you decided to take a manual test and you failed it, it will not affect your automatic entitlement. You will still be able to drive an automatic car. The only thing you won't be able to do is to drive a manual until you've passed the manual test. The other question I've got is, are manual cars cheaper than automatic cars? Manual cars have always, in the past, been cheaper to buy, cheaper to maintain, and cheaper to run. The insurance is cheaper. However, the gap between manual cars, the price between manual cars and automatic cars, is shrinking. Is shrinking every year. Automatic cars, even today, are slightly more expensive than manual cars. Automatic driving lessons are slightly more expensive. They're usually one or two pounds more expensive than manual cars. However, the gap between the price is shrinking. The other question I've got is, will manual cars be banned from 2030? From 2030, the UK government and the EU will have a ban on the production of petrol and diesel vehicles. So what does this mean for people who want to drive an automatic car or people who want to drive a manual car? What difference does it make? Well, from 2030, 
All vehicles, all new vehicles produced will therefore be electric. And all electric cars are automatic. This basically means that in from, from seven years time or in seven years time, there will be no new manual cars being produced. I'm not saying you won't be able to drive a manual car. Of course you will. If you pass your driving test in a manual today, even in 15 years time, if you can get a hold of a second-hand manual car, you'll be able to drive it. However, I'm sure that the government will have hefty taxes on petrol and diesel cars. I'm not here to say that automatic cars are better, and I'm not here to say that manual cars are better. I myself personally have been driving a manual car for over 40 years, and I really enjoy it. The question is, if you're going to be learning to drive, knowing that manual cars will be banned in seven years time, do you think it's worth learning the manual? If it is, if you think it's worth learning to drive a manual car, please comment in the text below. However, if you think it's not worth a manual car, that it's better to learn to drive an automatic, once again, comment in the text below. I would love to hear your comments and I will reply to each one of them personally. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.